This is Creed, and this is our first episode of Cookies with Creed. Today we're going to be looking at the cornflake and coconut cookies. Here's a list of stuff you'll need. Brown sugar, sugar, butter, eggs, vanilla, flour, baking powder, baking soda, cornflakes, and of course coconut. So first thing you're going to do is get everything together here. We've got all our ingredients. What a motley crew of ingredients we have there. We're going to go over to our oven, and we're going to go ahead and turn that on. Since we have a convection oven, we're going to go ahead and set it for 325 degrees. But if you do not have a convection oven, sad as you, and go ahead and set it at 350. Okay, we're going to measure out our brown sugar. And uh, if you don't know how to measure basic ingredients, I encourage you to Google that. Uh, you want to make sure that sugar is compact in there. And we're just going to be measuring out all our dry ingredients separately here. Yeah, funny story. When I was in China, I actually wore this shirt and... Um, they have a, a saying for fat guys, it's called puns, and uh, they actually didn't know Ghostbusters, but they knew fat, and they thought that there was an anti-fat shirt, which was funny from coming from a fat guy. So here we're going to be dumping our sugar into this bowl here, we're getting all our sugar ready, and we're going to go ahead and cream it. And of course to cream, we're going to go ahead and do butter, eggs, and sugar. And we're going to go ahead and put in our handy dandy KitchenAid stand mixer here. This thing's tried and true. Made plenty of cookies over the years. You don't get a belly like that, not even cookies. Of course we're going to go for some extra hardware there. <laughs> Try to crack our eggs. Ooh, one-handed. Oh, lost a little shell there, but that's okay. We can get that out. Always try to crack your eggs in a separate bowl, that way if one of them is bad, you don't have to throw out all your ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and raise our mixer here. Turn it on low. Get that butter working, drop one in, egg in at a time there. There goes the other one. A little slip and slide action. And at this junction, we're going to go ahead and add our sugar to the mixture. My butter was a little too cold here, but it's not too bad. You want to let it sit out for at least you know, 15, 20 minutes before you get started to make sure it's a little soft. And you don't want it too soft, but you don't want it as hard as it is here. As long as it comes together, it's not really a big issue, though. So you do whatever works for you. Now, if we stopped at this point, this looks like, looks like uh, some good eating to me, but of course I'm fat. And we're going to go ahead and kick this up a notch here and get this all incorporated. Kind of rocking it back and forth there, kicking it on high. And we're going to go ahead and add uh, our vanilla here. I believe it was a teaspoon. And uh, our neighbors here uh, brought this back from Mexico, and it's a pure vanilla instead of that extract stuff. But you use whatever you're comfortable with. Some people don't even like the flavor of this. They're so used to the, the vanilla and flavor. We're going to go ahead and let that incorporate for a little bit. Take it up to 11. A little trick there. Get everything off the beaters, and we're going to go ahead and scrape the side of the bowl here. Make sure we just get everything mixed and creamed together. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Looking good. Something about butter and sugar and, oh, yeah, vanilla. You just can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong. Kick it back up to 11 here for a little bit longer. Now we've got that done, we need to move on to our dry ingredients. Of course the bulk of the mixture is going to be made up by flour, and I believe it's two cups going into this recipe. I kind of made a mistake and got self-rising flour when I was at the store earlier today, but you know, any kind of flour does 
does well. Um, I'm not sure of the differences right now, but we need to look into that, the difference between self-rising flour and, and I'm sure it's just got baking soda and powder already in it. And flour is not as panic, picky, panicky, picky as uh, your brown sugar is. So we're going to go ahead and dump that in there and get our dry ingredients mixed separately here so we can make sure that's all incorporated. A little tappity tap tap brew there. Mmm, cookies. Can't wait. And we got some baking powder here, and you scrape it off the side there and make sure it's compact at the top. We'll go ahead and dump that in. We got our baking soda here now. These are all leveling agencies. This is what's going to make help the cookies rise, then fall, because you don't want your cookies to rise. That's just crazy. It would be called bread or cake, not cookies. We're going to go ahead and mix that in a little bit like that and get ready to incorporate our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. Give a little stir, make sure it's all in there, yeah. We go to the first person cookie cam here. A little in your face cookie cooking action. We're going to start with a little scoop here and then go ahead and mix it. We did a little uh, hardware change there. We had the batter instead of the whip on there now. Go ahead and raise that prepare to enter warp drive. Now you always want to start out real slow when you have your dry ingredients so you don't kick up a dust storm in your kitchen. So you're going to slowly incorporate our dry ingredients. Wait till it gets moist and add just a little bit more and continuing on. Until you run out of patience or just say screw it I don't have enough in there and we're going to go ahead and kick it up and again Make sure that's all mixed in there before we add more. Now we're at the end of the bowl. See, we kicked up a little bit there. Got a little impatient, but that's all right. I know the guy that cleans the kitchen. Yeah, this little first-person cookie action cam right here is doing pretty well. You know where the action is. Yeah, that batter is looking good. It's kind of a wetter batter than when a cookie, what a cookie would normally be, but that's okay. Go ahead and give it a little scrape, 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 rooting here. Make sure everything's incorporated. No big chunks of flour in there. Oh yeah, that's the goods right there, son. Like I said, it, you know, look, uh, looking like we got our cornflakes and coconut in a bowl here. We're going to go ahead and dump that in. The recipe actually called for two cups of coconut, and I kicked that back just a little bit. You know, you can adjust these things to your taste. And there's two cups of cornflakes in there, or flaked corn, or get it in a box in a bag. doesn't really matter. So we've incorporated it in, in there. And we're going to put some heaping mounds onto our pan here. And to save you the... Uh, time here we went ahead and sped that up nobody wants to watch that it's like watching paint dry I think this is the worst part about making cookies right here it's just tedious work tedious 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 work we did, we did some pretty good sized cookies here and that's the best way to overcome the tedious work is just to make the cookies bigger looks like we're gonna fit it to about 20 cookies on here oops looks like we missed one. Oh, oh. Oh, got it. All right. Now we'll pop these little babies in our 325 degree convection oven. Maybe next time I'll uh, take the time to clean the window on the oven. But we did a little time lapse video here and we're watching our cookies bake. Mmm, can you smell them cooking? Cornflake coconut cookies. Mmm, chewy goodness. Oh. And there they are. There's our cookies. A little brown around the edges, perfect. You want them to be chewy. You don't want them to be all the way done. Those are called hockey pucks, not cookies. So we're going to take them off our pan here. Yeah, being gentle. I'm kind of a bear in a china closet. I'm ready to eat some cookies at this point. We got flour all over my belly. You know, there's an apron I once had that said, never trust a skinny cook. So I guess you guys can trust me. I ain't skinny. 
Yeah, we ran out of room on the cooling rack there. I mean, feel free to use your countertop. That's what it's there for. You know, I remember mom baking cookies as a kid, and she would use those uh, paper trash, or pa- not paper trash bags, those paper grocery bags you get from the store. I, I, I don't know if they've outlawed those yet, but you can certainly use those, and it helps, um, you know, help helps a cookie get a nice brown bottom, and they don't get moist. That's basically what you're trying to do right now is get them off that pan before they get a little too brown. But, uh, yeah, this has been the first episode of Cookies with Creed. We made the cornflake coconut cookies. They're looking good, you know. Don't forget to eat one. Don't forget to eat one. But you can't tell anybody we did. I'll see you next time when we'll have a fun, exciting cookie. Later.